what we've done. All this time. I want you to know that you have been a real friend, Artu. My best one, in fact. The Force brought us together. I will finish what Luke started. A thousand generations live in you now. This is your destiny. The Force will be with you. Always. Star Wars Skywalker no Yoake. How cool is this? Is this crazy? <laughs> I haven't got long to kind of sell it to the audience. And so little subtle clues in costume, the look of that, and also the set will allow us to do that very quickly. I guess we're calling him Wicked Son. You know, I think in, in reality he's my son, but also in uh, within the Ewok tribe, Wicket has indeed produced an offspring. Uh, he's older and wiser, and uh, he has a little scamp to uh, to handle now. So you can imagine the scale of what you're seeing. Yeah. Huge Star Destroyer, what? like plummeting down. Today we were blessed with two performances from uh, two fine actors. One is a, a Star Wars vet and one is uh, a new Star Wars vet. I'm immensely proud of Harrison and what he's achieved today. You know, because it's not easy in, in, in this. You know, it's, it's difficult to move. It's extremely hot. You can't see, you can't breathe. And uh, he did uh, he did a sterling job. I cannot tell you how wonderful this is. Thank you both for doing it. So how was that? Good. Eunice has a confidence that is really exciting to work with. She's ferocious in a way that you want people to be. And when you have people like that, then you trust their opinion. And it challenges you to make it better and more specific. There was no icebreaker with Adam. You just, it's like, boom, and that's it. But I, I actually, Love it. I, I love it. I, even in rehearsals, Adam's in character. I'll go, Adam, you need to step out more. It's closing your strength down. And he's like, no, no, I don't need to step out more. Kylo Ren wouldn't be like that. He, he wants it there, he wants it there. And I'd be like, yeah, but, yeah, but. And we'd have this, this like, argument, but I like it. Character is her starting place. It's never from spectacle. It's always from within. He was like, so this is how it is, Eunice. I do all my own stunts. And I'm like, yeah, here we go. And I always hear it. I go, Adam, there's a level you can do and there's a level you can't, no, 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 you're not hearing me. I do it all. The physicality of Kylo, I'm very protective over. So you kind of, I wanted to do all of the, uh, uh, all of the things. I was like, well, okay, if it looks good, you can do it. If it doesn't look that good, I'll be putting the stunt guy in. It has to look good. So, um, but he did everything. You got two black people leading the cavalry, which is something you don't see in every single feature film. At all. So for me and Naomi, we are definitely, we have that in mind, that this is a passionate moment for us. Yeah. Seeing a black man and a black woman lead a cavalry of heroes. Yeah, to save I'm the proud. day. I'm me proud. Me too. Woo-hoo! <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We've done a lot of work, innit? Hey. Mm. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's been a joy working with her. We always have a good time, always good conversation. Probably singing and dancing half of the time. You know, chilling, talking about, you know, chicken and chips, and next second you're saving the world. It's definitely the underdogs, the little guys. And certainly, well, a, a different thing than the Ewoks on Endor. But our yeah. new stormtroopers in red, this is the first time yeah, I'm actually seeing them, which is really, really cool. The idea that, that people of human scale can undo a machine of impossible scale definitely feels like it's a theme of, of this series. I drew this myself <laughs> while I was waiting for you guys to film the movie. I, I always love making discoveries, planning things as much as we can, and of course, you storyboard and you shot list. But the truth is that when you're on the set, you discover things that you know you need that you never would have known. He's driving along, right? He makes nice a turn. turn. <laughs> when, he's, when he's right around here, the thing hits. And that's behind him. You're looking back over your left shoulder. Over left shoulder, yeah. 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 Uh, Boom. Uh, that. 
No, I missed this part. And then the whole thing comes around like that. Twice? Well, you, we're doing just the second half. Just the second half. Yeah, and it's like, so still see it. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, it's like, the shot is the woohoo. Woohoo! <laughs> exactly. It's so normal. So interestingly, we need to turn the whole speed around. Really exhilarating for me. It was the most fun I've had, <laughs> uh, but it's a bit challenging because they'd have fans as well, and so you just have all this sand getting into your eyes. And uh, I'd go home after after some days, and just like tons of sand would be pouring out of my hair. Fly, 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 fly. And you see Ray, and you wave. Seals your ship. Here comes the jetpack. Shoot. Three, two, one, boom! It's fascinating to watch an actress come into a role like Ray and to be 19, 20 years old. Even the idea of getting strong physically, all of that was new. Woo! And now as she's emerging as a powerful Jedi. Blossom back. Yeah. Okay. And you're watching her as Daisy actually move through that process. There's an interesting parallel. Bit of dialogue, bit of dialogue. I went into it knowing that I wanted to be healthy, doing stuff that literally feels good for your body. So I was sort of combining a number of things. So I was doing essentially body weight training five days a week and then kickboxing twice a week. One, two, three, three, three. One guard, dialogue. I took karate, uh, kendo, and did a little bit of weight training. They sort of want to mix that martial arts flavor in with the traditional foil fencing. That's good, all right. Okay. Yeah, we have to rest now. Okay. Watch it. I can't talk now. I'm out of breath. Is it difficult? It's becoming better than ever, Flynn. What do you mean by difficult? This is unusual. You know, I haven't seen this one before. Then you pull the saber out. Here we go. You know how this is going to go. It hits you immediately. This remote droid is molded from the, the original mold from A New Hope, of the one that they used then. So that's exactly the same as what you saw on the Falcon on the New Hope. Hi guys, it's Debbie, and here's today's daily fact. BB-8 won't be the only droid mailed in our hearts in Star Wars Episode 9. He will be joined by little D.O. If D.O.'s design looks familiar, that's because it is an obvious nod to Luxor Jr., the famous lamp from the Pixar movies. Remember to click below to subscribe on the side for more great content, and if you like my shirt, you can find it at the link in the description.